company making Pope-shaped pasta. We showed you the Pope bobbleheads, merchandise seeming to fly off the shelves. Yeah, so where do you get these souvenirs? John Delano takes a look. Cheering crowds are greeting Pope Francis in Washington and soon in New York and Philadelphia. But holy moly, will the crowd have the right Pope Puri of merchandise? We have plush dolls, we have bobbleheads, we have prayer cards, we have assorted rosaries. Um, certainly we have uh, apparel for, for women, men, children. Aramark, the official retailer for the World Meeting of Families in Philadelphia that brought the Pope to the United States, is marketing over 200 souvenirs, including a papal bobblehead. Of course, when it comes to making a buck off the Holy Father's visit... So there's probably space for, for a lot of entrepreneurs. Some Philadelphians are selling unofficial t-shirts. How about a papal pasta? My favorite in South Philly, the Pope Bar, with holy water beer out of a Pope Francis tap. But can you find this stuff in Pittsburgh? We searched the Strip District and found nothing. I think we just missed out on it because with everything that's going on with the Steelers and the Pirates, so we just kind of missed it. And it not being in Pittsburgh, you know, it was in uh, Philly. But wait, religious gift shops like Merhut's in the North Hills have plenty of Pope Francis paraphernalia. Keychains and rosary rings are very popular. There's been a total resurgence since he's been here. But no bobbleheads, t shirts, or beer. We went to the Diocese of Pittsburgh to see if they had one of those bobbleheads. They don't. But they did have one of these faithful towels. And how about a Team Francis pennant? Both of which will be waved by Pittsburghers when they see the Pope in Philadelphia. Count on the faithful here to bring a bit of Pittsburgh to the Pope when he skips our city. As for a bobblehead, order that online. Go to kdka.com for the link. Still looking for that holy water beer, I'm John Delano, KDKA TV News.